Hi everyone, here Tommy Walker from Unleashing Your Mindset for Success. I haven't been going live for a while now. I've been posting quite a lot and uh, putting some videos out, but I want to do a live, see if some people might have some questions and expand a little bit more on what I put out today that some people are not getting it or asking me what's going on, why are you saying this? And the other day I was seeing an interview they were doing to a big guru out there that he was saying, like, you got two options in life. You got to focus on positive things or you can focus on negative things. And, you know, positive things are going to bring more positive. Negative things are going to bring more negative. And yes, for some people that works. That could be true. OK, for some people, but for most people out there, it doesn't work. And if you are one of those out there that have been struggling to stay focused or focus on pos stay focused on positivity or uh, change your mind into positivity, I want to explain to you why that's not working and why that's not uh, being effective and it's not growing. When we go into struggle, into a struggling situation, and I had some uh, different sessions today that I was working with people and we got similar things in most of them that most people, again, they try to not face the negativity, just go over it, you know, ignore it, repress it. But we got to understand that negativity in our subconscious mind or whenever it comes to our conscious mind, it has a reason to be there. So when you were a kid and maybe your parents weren't treated you correctly, when you were left alone, when you were told you weren't good enough, when you were compared with your siblings, you know, whatever happened in your past, you created a story in your head saying that you're not good enough, that you're not worthy, that um, uh, you're a failure, that you... I've been working with people that have so many different stories in the back of the head and they try to stay positive and they tell me, hey, Tommy, I've been struggling for years staying positive, but I keep falling into negativity. So if most people out there, it's not working, what does that mean? That means that these people out there that are teaching to stay positive are teaching the wrong way. Because if not, most humanity should be now happy, positive, and everything else should have changed in their life. But if you are one of them and you are one of the big numbers out there, big percent of people not being able to stay positive or to be positive, it's okay. It's not your fault. It's that guru's fault that's saying this about you got to be positive. No, that's BS. And I'm sorry for calling it like that, but it's BS. Most people out there, and I'm talking about big percentage. I don't know. I haven't done the research, but I can talk that more than 50 or 60% of the people out there cannot stay positive or they're struggling to stay positive. So why is that? Because again, we have unprocessed things from our past beliefs, negative, limiting and false beliefs in the back of our head that if we don't address, they're going to be there. I can change into positive and choose to be positive, but I'm not changing the belief inside of my head. So whenever I hit another challenging situation, this negative, limiting or false belief is going to trigger again and come back and haunt me again. So wouldn't you rather learn the correct way, not just being positive of changing your life? That's what I want to bring, guys. I've been talking about this for now a long time, and I've been helping people a lot down the road to start changing the life. And changing the life is about facing that negativity, understanding why it's there, facing the limiting false or negative belief that is triggering this negative emotion, this negative thought. Every negative thought, negative emotion is triggered by a belief. So we need to change the belief system to then get rid of the negativity by changing the beliefs to then end up and as a byproduct fall into positivity. Because just forcing positivity is not working for most people out there. So let's stop this BS, this nonsense, where you got to focus on positivity. No, because again, most people are struggling with this and it's not working for them. Very few people can be able to change, okay, from negative to positive and feel okay down the road. But you know what? That's temporary. Again, it's temporary because I'm facing into positivity, but I'm not changing the beliefs. So yes, some people out there make more money, so they feel good about themselves, but then they got to make more money to make, to, to feel again 
better about themselves and then more money and then more money or they want to buy this and they buy it and then they got to go look for something else to feel good enough. So what most people out there are doing is trying to feel good enough to feel adequate to feel prove somebody else that they're wrong about what's going on in their life that maybe you know that you're not good enough. I got to prove others that I'm good enough. Again you don't need to prove anybody on the outside you just need to work on the inside. So that's what I'm bringing here and it's not about changing your focus into positive. It's about ending up in positivity by getting rid of the negativity in your head. And again, the only true way of getting away from negativity, it's not running away because it's going to follow you. It's like trying to, ray, to, trying to run away from your shadow. There's no way you can run away from your shadow. So guys, if you're listening to this and you find it that you're liking it, just send me some love. Let me know that you're there, you're listening. And if you like it, of course, just mention. And if you don't or you have any questions, just please go ahead and make them down here so I can listen and try to help out if anybody needs some help. So again, I cannot unrun the negativity in my head because it's in my head. Whatever I run, it's going to come with me. And I tried, you know, guys, when I was 19, I put on uh, 19 or 20, I put up together a, a, a suitcase and I went and traveled around the world because I didn't want to be where I was because I wasn't happy where I was. But I wasn't happy. It wasn't where I was. It was me. I realized down the road that it was a choice that I had to make. It wasn't about where I was. It was the choosing to be happy where I'm at. And I realized that down the road, of course, with my mentor coach that helped me. And that's what I'm trying to share with you guys. It's not about running away from whatever is going on. It's about embracing, learning and using those negativity, negative thoughts, negative emotions to find the false belief and be able to grow exponentially. So stop shifting your mind into positivity learn from your negativity that's going to take you to your false limiting and negative beliefs that then are going to make you grow exponentially. Again, if more than half of humankind, people out there are struggling to stay positive, trying to forcing yourself to be positive, it's not the way. Not anymore. We know better now that negativity comes from things in our subconscious mind, these stories we're telling ourselves. Change the stories change your inner beliefs, your belief system, and change your life. And that's what I'm bringing for a while now. That's why I did that post, because I heard this guru out there saying like, oh, you got to choose thinking positivity. No, that doesn't work. So I hope this makes sense. If you like this, just let me know so I can understand that you're liking this, of course. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Please put them down here. I'll be glad to answer. So have a great day, and I hope this makes sense. Take care. Bye. If you like these videos, I would really recommend that you subscribe to this YouTube channel to get more videos, more information, how to change your mind and hence how to change your life or your business. So thank you very much. I hope to see you around in the next video. Bye.